Nerdy Gang, Jay Nerdy back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys three different ways that I like to style shorts. Now, I know a lot of people were asking me, like, how do you style shorts? What do you wear in the summer? Like, it's kind of a lot of questions summer-wise because it's kind of hard to find cooler clothes that look good without you wearing too much clothes, you know what I'm saying? Because it gets really hot. And so here are ways to style shorts. Now, usually, um, I wear pants a lot. So like in the summertime, it is kind of hard to go about shorts, but here's a bunch of different ways and a bunch of different shorts that you guys can wear. They're different scenarios. So like some styles you can wear more casually, some, you know what I'm saying? Just, just to switch it up, I'll give you guys a bunch of different variations. Now all these clips and montages that you see are shot by Foster Visuals. So if you guys want to check out his Instagram page, he shoots a lot of dope visuals, a lot of dope music videos, bunch of different creative stuff, you know what I'm saying? And he's from South Bend as well. So make sure you go check him out and tell him I sent you. Also, if you haven't yet, you should be following my Instagram, but that's besides the point. Now the first outfit I wanted to start off with is probably the first one that you're gonna see. And this is my personal favorite outfit of them all and my favorite shorts to wear. But this first short I got is a pair of Levi's shorts. Basic black Levi's shorts. I kind of like rolled them and cuffed them at the bottom. But I pretty much just paired it with a nice little belt chain. I used the roller coaster belt or like the lookalike Elite Studio belt. So went ahead and paired that up. So regular Levi's shorts. Now for the top, I got this nice clean Stussy shirt, which has an embroidered panther on it, which is super fire. This is probably one of my favorite button down shirts right now. Um, but it comes in just this gray color. I'm not sure if they have any other colorways, but I'll definitely try to link them down in the description. But this shirt will probably run you about $90 retail. Um, it's fairly new, so I'm, I'm not too sure if you can find it for under that price. But went ahead and scooped it off Urban Outfitters. Um, and yeah, man, this shirt is super clean. And I paired it with the Yeezy Season 6 boots in that Desert Rat colorway. So this black really goes with the whole vibe of it, and it's not too dark of a black and kind of has like a little hint of grays and a little lighter lighter tone black so that definitely kind of meshed well together between that light gray and that black look um but me personally i think boots look really nice in the summer i know a lot of people be like whoa why, why would you wear boots in the summer but i think the aesthetic of it at the bottom with shorts looks really nice if you have a nice clean like um mid mid sock with it personally i think that when wearing shorts, the most important thing that you can do is match the aesthetic with the bottoms. You know, the top is important, but it's kind of like a whole aesthetic thing. So you kind of want to balance it out. Let's say if you have cargo shorts or if you just have a lot going on, you kind of want to bulk it up a, li a bit at the bottom, you know what I'm saying, with the shoes and everything. So that's pretty much the outfit. And then to finish it off, I went ahead and threw on the MX DVS shoulder straps with it. Y'all know I love wearing these, man. So that is to complete that outfit. Now I also posted this picture on Instagram, so definitely go to my Instagram, follow me, like this picture, and say Grindy Gang so I know you're subscribed and you watched the video and came back to the picture and commented and liked it and all that good stuff. So this second outfit is one that is a lot more casual, a lot easier to wear around the house. Um, this isn't really much of a, a wow outfit, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of kept it real chill with the slides and everything and it's just a lot more simple. Now the shorts that I'm talking about for this outfit is this plaid basketball short by Minimal. Now the reason I got these shorts is because I really wanted one. I really wanted some shorts that were really comfortable to wear in the summer, but they still look kind of stylish, you know? So this is kind of like my lounge around pair of shorts. And if you want to go purchase these, you can use my code Grundy10. It'll get you 10% when you're at the discount, so you can check out and cop the shorts. Now at the top, I went ahead with this Loser Lover tee that I also got from Urban Outfitters. Now this tee just has a hint of red and white, which really goes well with the plaid without doing too much and throwing too much colors. Because plaid is kind of like one of those things where if you wear it, the rest of your outfit kind of has to be chill, you know what I'm saying? So super clean tee, super clean graphic. I paired it with these Kappa slides. Now in my opinion, this outfit would have looked way better with um, kind of like those Teva slides that I mentioned earlier in my sandals video. And I think the whole aesthetic with more straps would have looked a lot better. These kind of look a bit tacky just based off, I just think sandals like this are, it's kind of, kind of more for just around the house, which is why I put it with this outfit. Um, but if you were wearing this outfit out and wanted to look more 
put together, I would definitely recommend going with more like a strap sandal. To finish the outfit off and give it a little bit more flair at the top, I went ahead and threw on this Stussy shoulder bag. It's a nice clean aesthetic to it. Um, really kind of gives that chill vibe. You can put all your items in this instead of your pocket. So that's something that I just like to carry around. Now for the last outfit, I went ahead and threw on these Nike shorts. Now these are some cargo shorts that are just khaki. Really basic as far as cargo shirts go, but they are Nike and they do have a bunch of little nice Nike details and stuff like that. I've had these shorts for a super long time, so they're really durable. I wear them a lot and they're just really clean when you're trying to go for like a more color blocked, monotone, brownish, neutral color outfit. So that's what I usually pair with khaki shorts. The shirt that I threw on with it was this Lost Love tee from Profound. Now this is a super clean t-shirt as well. Um, I think you can get it for like 35 bucks. Actually, no, no, no. You can get it on sale right now, I think, for under $30. Don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure. I'll link it down in the description, but this is a super clean graphic t-shirt. Graphic tees is also something you wanna throw on with shorts just because it kinda of puts your look together without it being so plain, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want too much as a graphic. Just something really nice and clean like this will go super well. Now, some days it is kind of chillier. You can be in like that 70 degrees or maybe under 70 degrees in the summer. So, if so, you can go ahead and throw in this cardigan. Now, this is a Evan Picone. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's actually a women's cardigan that I found at the thrift store. And I just threw it on top because it matches that whole brown vibe. Brown and khaki go super well together. And then those hints of reds kind of makes it pop out. You know what I'm saying? So, you can definitely... Um, scoop you a, a nice little light cardigan. Now this one kind of fits me a bit short in the sleeves. Like I said, it is women. It's an extra large. It fits kind of like a medium. So this one would be for sale on my Depop. So if you want to check it out, definitely go ahead to my Depop and it will be on there. Links and all in the description. So like I said, the bottoms are real important, but y'all have all seen these before. Now these are the People Footwear Linen Tiller Slide. Now this khaki literally goes perfect with the Nike shorts. So threw on these with some brown socks that a lot of people were like, yo, where'd you get brown Nike socks? And I think I just got it at like some sporting store or something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely check out your stores around. Like I said, that whole bottom look is really what sets off the shorts. So this being that brown sock, khaki shoe combination, definitely set it all off. Now that's pretty much it for the whole shorts video. I hope these different outfits kind of gave you um, a different look and a different vibe you can go for for different settings that you're going to. This first one is probably like a more casual, more dress up, um, going out type of a vibe. Second outfit, like I said, is just chilling around the house, maybe you had a barbecue, something like that. That's definitely where I wear the plaid shorts. And then kind of the same similar casual, kind of a mix between the two is with the khaki Nike shorts that I wore. So these are all different ways to wear shorts. I hope it helps. I got more videos coming soon. Um, I think I'm gonna do another Rated Subscribers Outfit video, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Post your picture and put hashtag Grundy Gang. That will enter you into the kind of like group of pictures that I choose from, and you will definitely be able to have a chance to enter. I'm also doing a kind of like recent pickup video coming soon. I've got a bunch of new stuff from a bunch of different brands, so that's coming soon as well. And just a bunch of stuff coming, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Also, I'm not sure if my videos are popping up. I know a lot of people have been having troubles with their video popping up in people's feeds. So make sure you definitely go down, hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit subscribe, hit like, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I'll be back to you with more. Peace. Somebody please call me I'm not a